some wonderful music on the Boogie Woogie stage here at the Cincy Blues Fest. My name is Laurie Gentry, and I'm the president of a nonprofit organization called Jazz Alive. And I have the honor, uh, prompted by Mr. Bill Holzeiser, to contact Mayor John Cranley and ask for a proclamation in honor of drummer Philip Paul today. Give, yeah. give Mr. Paul a hand. And this proclamation is, we're meeting today is in conjunction with the celebration of his 90th birthday yeah. on August 11th. So Philip Paul was born in Harlem, New York. He's been a resident of Cincinnati since 1952. And then from 1952 to 1965, Paul became the studio drummer for King Records, as well as two of its subsidiary labels, Federal and Bethlehem. He plays drums on over 350 recordings with artists such as Hank Ballard, Mill Buckner, Freddie King, Grandpa Jones, Cowboy Cobus, Donnie Lou, and outside of King Records, Paul has performed with blues legends John Lee Hooker, Albert King, and Smokey Brothers. He was also in the Roy Merriweather Trio when they recorded their classic Popcorn and Soul. He's also toured with, in the U.S. and Canada with Jimmy Smith, Nat Adderley, Herbie Mann, George Wien, Newport Jazz All-Stars. And after leaving King Records, Paul joined the Woody Evans Trio, performing for 25 years at local country clubs, including Cincinnati's Playboy Club and the Beverly Hills Supper Club, and he still performs every weekend at the Cincinnati Hotel with the Philip Paul Trio. Yeah. His proclamation states, we proclaim that Philip Paul has been an inspiration to drummers and musicians in Cincinnati and around the world. And whereas Philip Paul recorded on over 300 recordings on the story King Records label in Cincinnati, and whereas Philip Paul has been honored with a Lifetime Cami Award for his contribution to the music and culture of Cincinnati, and whereas Philip Paul was honored with the Ohio Heritage Fellowship Award, Ohio's highest honor bestowed on traditional artists in behalf of the city of Cincinnati, and Philip Paul was honored into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum in Cleveland that included a retrospective of his background recording at King Records, his nationwide tours, and his 50-year career as a studio drummer and drummer in Cincinnati nightclubs. Therefore, I, John Cranley, Mayor of Cincinnati, do hereby proclaim August 8, 2015 as Philip Hall Day in Cincinnati. Uh, you are the greatest fans and uh, follower, follower of this wonderful music we play. Uh, I've dedicated my life to music and uh, I left New York and came down here. I thought it would wane, but the uh, music is alive in Cincinnati and I'm happy to be part of it. I want to thank all of my fans and uh, I'm still working. Come down to the Cincinnati Club and, and hear some jazz any weekend. And on my marriage, i like to give you a little insight on that. Uh, I met this lady in Canada about a little over 50 years ago. Uh, it didn't work out, and I didn't think it was the right time to be married. And I came to Cincinnati. I married in Cincinnati, and we never saw each other again. Uh, on the early part of this year, this lady was looking for some information on the internet, and she saw one of the articles written about me, and she was surprised to see Philip Paul. Uh, I received a card from her asking her, asking me to call her, and she wrote that uh, her husband had died, and my wife had died, but we were free to see one another. I instantly went to Canada. <laughs> and, uh, as a result, we rekindled our romance, and uh, in regards to my age, I still have the urge and need to have a baby. And that's what I think. I wish I, I asked you for everyone's blessing in this. Yes!
this guy out. You know, they basically fell in love with Phil, as, as many people do, I think, when they meet him. Because he's not just an amazing musician, he's not just an incredibly versatile musician. Bluegrass, funk, rock and roll, blues, rhythm and blues. Uh, he re literally recorded it all. Fever by uh, Little Willie John, The Twist by Hank Feller, the original version of The Twist, all of the great Freddie King blues songs. Would you ask any guitar player here what are his or her favorite rap blues guitar records? And the Freddie Kings will be within maybe the top five. And so the man drumming for you tonight with Ricky Nye in a few minutes was that man. So needless to say, one of the greatest stories I think I've ever had the opportunity to write was about Philip Hall. I love this man. Uh, he's my older brother. I thank, and he's an inspiration to all of us. Still passionate about music, still passionate about love. Every day is Philip Paul Day in my book. Thank you very much for showing us. Show some more love. The amazing Philip Paul.